The wife kept shouting from downstairs, what, what, what? I was like, oh, fuck's sake. Hell, oh, and welcome to another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video along the way, give it a massive thumbs up. It's free, the thumbs up helps my channel and helps other people and helps suggest my video to others to grow my channel. This is a hobby for me at the minute, so if you could just do me a favor and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Anyway, let's get back to it. So you may be thinking about the title, how did going on holiday end in disaster? Well, my holiday wasn't, wasn't a disaster. My holiday was actually amazing. I turned 40 while I went abroad. I said to my wife, I don't want to be in England on my 40th. I just don't want to be in it. England's rainy and horrible. I want to be in somewhere nice and sunny. A few moments later. So, as you can see, we have scaffolding up. We have scaffolding up right here, all here. It's great, lovely. Sorry about the noise, I live on a mainish road. Took all the uh, slates off there, the spare slates. Um, it was it, it was supposed to be sunny all week while we were gone. So I can't blame the roofer on this. Look, I kind of can a little bit, but he's, re he's gonna rectify the issues that we have of why it's a disaster. Um, he said, "Oh yeah, I'll have it done in a week. Perfect. Yeah, blah 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 blah." Um, and as you know, in England, as I said in the last video, for the past year and a half, we've probably only had about maybe a month of sunshine up here in the north of England. Uh, so we thought, oh, sunshine, yes, we can get some, uh, get the roof done because it's been leaking a bit, get it started. It's been, we've chased him for over a year to get this roof done. He just said, it needs a relay. So I'll do all this, do all this, do all this. Perfect, get all the best stuff for you, it's great, here it is. Came along with this scaffolder, put the scaffolding up, and uh, we thought, nice one, we'll get back to a brand new roof. Cash back, nice one. And that, and, and then, the disaster happens. Yep, 40 years old now, I'm an old bugger, aren't I? <laughs> so basically, we, uh, we got back, um, we realised it wasn't fully done, it was only partially done, which I'll show you how the V looks upstairs, what's ha what's happened so far. Um, for two days it was blistering sunshine apparently, which is great, get the roof off, get it done. Apparently the then for the additional two to three days afterwards, the rain came down like a brick shit house. I don't know why people call that, do that thing, but it came down ridiculous constantly heavy 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 that's just the way england is i don't know why with our weather's just stupid it was sunny yesterday and now it's raining again it just can't stop raining can it so we got back home after about about half past ten at night thinking we're absolutely knackered a few moments later sorry about the darkness the um, scaffolding is stopping light getting in the house as you can imagine so we came, and as you can see, the carpet's up. Yep, the carpet is up. And you may ask, oh my lord, what kind of disaster could you have? Well, shall I show you? For one thing, I've had to take the ceiling rolls down and the chandelier that I don't really like, but the, what the wife likes, and put another cheap, pendant one up for temporary measures and it looks work better now than it did because I've got I've got this heater on and I've got the heating on on 20 odd degrees even though it's fairly warmish outside even though it's raining it isn't exactly cold but you need to heat stuff up so so basically uh yeah the ceiling it came all the way through the ceiling oh and I was like I'm like the um, the loft hatch that I put in and it does work it's all that's all um, fucked up as well you see all the stainage on the inside you put this membrane on it, it was it said apparently it was supposed to be waterproof and breathable breathable fair enough and waterproof you need a bit of waterproof when the slates are on but with it coming down like a, like a ridiculous storm evidently it didn't do it very well did it 
and I walked into the room when we had all the uh, the carpet on, came in, walked along to close these curtains and then I was like, oh shit, why are my footprints in the, uh, staying in the carpet? Hmm. I didn't even look at the ceiling at this time, I just walked straight, you don't look at the ceiling do you when you come into a room most of the time. And I was like, okay, I walked again, I thought, what the hell is going on with this? What is going on? I looked up, I was like, oh shit, and the wife kept shouting from downstairs, what, what, what? I was like, oh, fuck's sake. I even boarded that loft up there, I put that in and I boarded it with, with fresh insulation, like really thick, good insulation, and I put, it, I put some wood down. The rain had come down, it got through the wood, through the insulation, and through this ceiling up there, through all that, dripped all the way into there, the ceiling rolls had hung off, hence why I had to do that. And then it had basically hit the, hit the floor, and I thought, oh, all about sugar, that's not too bad, it's only that area. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I looked at the, um, the bed, which, was here and I was like oh, fuck sake, we want bed in about 10 minutes this is no good so we had to I pulled back the covers and the whole bed was piss wet through and this bed is a king size mattress with 2000 pocket springs and a memory foam top it costs about 1500 quid for this mattress Evidently, it was an older one, so it's not too bad. And one, as anyone may know, you can try and dry a mattress out that was that's around 25 centimeters thick, but you ain't gonna do it. You're gonna be, you just get rid, which was great. And then all this floor, you can see the, the lightness there, the dark there, all that and all that was was uh, was was wet and piss wet through. I pulled that down to see what was going on. So I needed to get the lower mattress down so I could sleep on it and rubble came down, water came down up there. I was like, oh for fuck's sake, it was black and wet as fuck up there. I don't know how my stuff up there isn't destroyed. So then, we, yeah, we had to go downstairs. We had to effectively make a, like a, a makeshift bed out of the cushions downstairs and sleep on there, which is the worst night. I woke up every hour. Worrying and it was just annoying and then the following morning We checked the mattress came in it was still piss wet through So we rang the roofer who was on his way to our house. He was very apologetic um, It was sold by it was a new new um, uh, Roof lay whatever you know the, the lining you put underneath the wood it was new stuff He hadn't used before that's supposed to be really good and um, he came over at like 9 9 30 in the morning and was like, I'm so sorry. He looked at the ceiling and was like, after 25 years of this, I've never had that. Obviously it isn't finished, it was painted and had the light up and ceiling rolls as you, as you saw, which is so basically the only walls that really needed doing was this wall, the, all the um, screen rolls needed painting, and then the new, the new floor, like uh, a carpet, and this room would have been done. But now, because I'm not, I've got a lot of stuff up, I've got stuff in the loft, I boarded it, and it's dirty. Basically, I'm not taking it up. So I'm just gonna, I'm, so he just said, we'll drop this, because you see all the cracks there. You're gonna have to drop the ceiling, let the insulation come down, put a new insulation up there, because insulation absorbs the water and you will never get it out. So I bought, spent money on something that's piss wet through and I've just throw away. Um, and then he's gonna have to put new insulation up there, reboard it, replaster it, and then I'll have to paint it. I said, put the, oh, put the uh, new roll, the rolls up there again when it dries out, put the chandelier back up there. It, it's all because the rain in England is a pest. And then we went in the loft, the loft bedroom, because apparently he had already done that room and I'll show you what he'd done to the roof. So I'm not massively happy to be fair. Um, this is Bar, Bar Lake. I can't sleep in here now. Uh, the, the, the roof is fucked. So that's good, isn't it? And then this was a little bit of a thing there, but then it's additional, all that. I, I plastered all this, it's, it was nice, now it's fucked. So yeah, it's great. 
let's have a look at the uh, thingy so as you can see the, this roof is apparently this roof is apparently done but you can, you can see up there it's not great and he's had to put uh, now all them slates that we were using he had to put this black tarpaulin over it and pin it down because he didn't put that in earlier he's got to redo all that as well up there so he's had to do that so he can so it doesn't fuck up so he hasn't done it all but it is what it is all these are slates are going back on the roof so that's great isn't it he's had to do that to protect it up basically i don't know why he couldn't just do that additionally for the um first foremost when you when it starts raining you cover it and you staple it and you do it and then it, all this bulb bullshit wouldn't cost him and it's just ridiculous I mean this is the one room yes it's a bit of a shit all this room but you don't expect it to get fucked up and he has been really nice when he saw the state of all that and all the all that going down there this is the effect of English weather and he made a mistake he didn't put the black tarpaulin on when it started raining like he should have done Maybe he finished one day and then it started pissing down and he didn't come back on the thing. He was told it was waterproof, the stuff underneath, but it wasn't, evidently. So he's got to fix all this stuff. It's going to cost him, but it's what it is, isn't it? We up and wet our, um, our carpet and went straight through the, um, the bed. And then you got sitting water in a bed that's on the floor, it's going to soak through the floor. Think about how high that roof is and how bad a power the, the, the weather was. This is the additional, it's going to have to be painted. You're going to have to paint all this. Thankfully that didn't fall off. Got to paint all this, all that, all that. And this is the effect of fucking English bleeding weather. Thankfully as well, these rabbits weren't here. These were at my mum's while we were on holiday. So, and they don't like the noise anyway, so I'm so happy about that. But it's absolutely diabolical. They've got they that stained now, all that. It came through all the way to here. And like, this is stained, that's stained. Thankfully this can be taken off and washed. That's what a good thing about Ikea sofas is they can be stained and cleaned and just take the whole thing apart and take it off. But it's just, just ridiculous, isn't it? It's an honest, honest mistake, he's owned up to it. I'm gonna sort my loft hatch out. I'm gonna pull my loft hatch down and give it a good clean today anyway, because it needs to be done. Um, I've, I just wanted to give you a quick update of what's happened to this house and how you go on a holiday and basically you should never, well, you shouldn't, shouldn't go on a holiday um, when people are doing stuff around your house, especially the roof. Your house needs to be washed tight because if I'm if I'm not here, my, my wife's not here, and no one else is here, and the rabbit's not here, how do we know what's going on? If this 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 all this shit happened for two to three days while we were on holiday in the sun, that's a lesson to us and a lesson to you guys and any roofer. If it pisses down, cover your fucking roof. Cover the roof you're working on. It's supposed to thunderstorm today. Thank you for that black stuff will hopefully be good. But is what it is, you can't cry over spilt milk as they say. You just gotta get on with it, move forward and learn and hopefully things will get better and we'll have a new ceiling. We've got to somehow get rid of all these watermarks off this ceiling, which is a, just a diabolical. This is the this is one of the rooms that's actually was actually finished downstairs, was finished, complete, complete and now it's Looks like a shithole, but is what it is. Thanks again for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you well, if you all like this video because it's not as like a cheerful video. But please like it anyway um, because it helps my channel. Please subscribe. I had a great, great birthday and come back to a, a fucked up house. So please subscribe and like the video just to, for me to make me feel better, let me grow a bit better. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks again. Subscribe and yes, that's the next video. See you soon.